Hey guys, today we're going to uh, go over this little plastic carburetor on this bridge in Stratton. This mower come in and it wasn't, uh, not running. It's not very old. It's, it, it's just a reoccurring problem with these. If you don't drain your gas out of them, then they're absolutely, uh, pretty much no chance that it's gonna start come the spring. I've done a bunch of these and I thought I'd go over it. That way, maybe one of you guys could fix it yourself. Seven millimeter on the inside bolts, eight millimeter on the outside bolts. And once you pop it off like that, there's nothing holding it on there except for an O-ring. So you just take it, you pop it off. You'll have to pull your fuel line. Let me get a pair of clamps. pair of clamps here so we don't get gas everywhere and we'll pull this fuel line off all right just rotate the governor arm there and you've got it pop loose all right that's the part we're going to be using uh 592 791 and the part looks just like this little dude right here. You can take these apart and clean them if you'd like, but they, uh, <clears throat> they're only like nine bucks, super easy, super fast to replace. I got these little hose spreader clamps, works perfect for this right here. All right, so you get your, carburetor open you can take a pair of regular pliers get a hold of this dude right here wiggle it you can see I can find the camera get a little discoloration nothing seems to be extremely bad these things are just extremely extremely um, sensitive so just take it pop your new one in there and you can take your bowl you snap it right back on now whatever you do don't pull it back down with the screws that's just this thing's made out of plastic and we all know how that probably end up probably end up buying a new carburetor instead of fixing it for 10 bucks you're replacing it for 50 or 60 bucks i haven't bought one of these carbs in a while but they're not cheap. Okay. Once you get it mashed back down there. There you go. Now we'll put that right back on there and see how she does. All right, let's stick this thing back on there. Put it on there. We just take our governor linkage or throttle linkage, whatever you want to call it. Stick it right back there. We'll take it and, oops. Careful not to pop that out. We'll mash it right back onto the intake tube. Yep, we're good to go on that. We'll just rotate the fuel line around. Hook it back up to the carburetor. Take our clamp off. And then take our cover, our air filter cover, our base. Stick it on there, the black screws, fine threaded ones. Go on the outside in the middle. And silver screws that are coarse threaded go on the inside for the plastic. So we'll stick these in here. Okay. 
I always start with my outside screws first. Is that that's how the filter base is going to mount to the machine. We'll switch over to our seven millimeter, and we will suck our carburetor in. And it looks like I'm going to go hunting for this screw. I found it. Didn't go far. All right. Now, what I'm not going to do is stick this nasty air filter back in there. Yep, I'm going to clean that up. But uh, we're going to see if uh, see if we did any good here. Let me set it down off the bench, and we'll give it a test shot. All right. Let's see what we can get done here. Yeah, I've seen it. That repair is that easy. Anyone can do it that has a dollar store socket set. I hope you all have a good day.